What's up travelers? It's Eloise from Means to Travel back with another female-centric travel tip for our series on this channel called Female Traveler Friday, where I share my tips for female travelers and the female audience on Means to Travel. Before we jump into this week's tip, which is going to be about what pajamas to bring when you travel, I just want to quickly say thank you for understanding the quick break that I had to take from this series over the past two weeks. We have been moving. We moved back into our house in Chicago and had a ton of construction crew going um, while trying to fix up the house a bit. So it was just so loud I just wasn't able to film. So thankfully most of that work is now completed and we are going to be back in business. Business. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. So I'm going to be talking today about three different types of loungewear or just sleepwear that you might want to consider the pros and cons of when you are going to be traveling as a female. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is kind of very common in the US and that is to bring a t-shirt and some sort of sweatpants. The things to really think about though, um, and the reason why I'm making this video in general is because when you're traveling, there's a much higher likelihood of you somebody else seeing your clothing while you sleep than perhaps there would be when you are at home. So there's been stories about celebrities in the news having like the fire alarm go off in their hotels and they are running out of their room naked. It's just, you don't wanna be that person regardless of where you're going. So um, there's always going to be a risk of say needing to leave your room at a hotel or perhaps you're going to be staying with family or friends at your destination and maybe need to get up in the middle of the night and get water from the kitchen and you run into the person who's hosting you. So with all of that said, um, I'm just going to say with wearing a t-shirt and sweatpants, a couple of things to keep in mind is you might want to bring some sort of padding to go underneath the t-shirt so you don't feel um, exposed ever, um, if that's something that is a concern to you. Say you want to bring a bralette or sports bra or something um, that would still be comfortable to wear under that t-shirt. And then also too, I definitely recommend making sure that there isn't any like holes in the t-shirt or in the sweatpants. Um, they're in a pristine enough condition of something that you would pack that you wouldn't necessarily be kind of like covering stuff up or any sort of embarrassment might occur if somebody were to see your sleepwear. I have, when I was a teenager, was always wearing like old tennis clothes of mine, and so like tennis sweatpants and like stuff like that when I was sleeping and I've pivoted away from that just because I like to have something that feels at least remotely presentable <laughs> in case somebody had to see me in the evenings. Lastly, in regards to wearing t-shirts and sweatpants, you probably want to make sure that it is a breathable material and um, you want to, maybe the home that you live in, you keep it very cool at night and so the sweatpants that you wear are thicker but all of a sudden you're going to be in a European hotel without air conditioning or something like that. I highly recommend that you are thinking through whether or not the the items that you're bringing are the right weight <laughs> for different types of temperature fluctuations that you might not be used to. And the second type of sleepwear option that I want to talk to you all about today is nightgowns. So I've been getting into them a little bit more as an adult. I'll maybe put some pictures of ones, the types of ones that I recommend um, for travelers, for female travelers. And those are the ones that have padding kind of built in and extra support built in. So I've been able to, in recent years, find these types of nightgowns at Target. They have a few listed on Amazon. I'll try to put links below if there's any currently in stock, which I totally should have looked this up before starting and um, recommended something very specific to you all. <laughs> Especially if I have the nightgown that I, I've recently bought, if I can find that online, I'll put it down below. Um, but that being said, Again, you want something that has a breathable material um, and also a little bit of support so that way if somebody were to see you in the evening, you wouldn't feel overly exposed. On top of that, I want you to make sure to consider hem length. So for me, I'm pretty short, so a short hem length might not be like the world's worst thing for somebody who's five foot one, but it's still for me like a little bit 
I don't know. I don't want to have something that I feel like I'm constantly trying to like cover up on my legs, you know? I recommend getting a midi length nightgown for travel just so you don't have any kind of risk of feeling like your legs are more exposed than you might want them to be. And the third and final type of pajamas that I want to talk with you all about when it comes to traveling is those very typical top and bottom pajama set. I love those. I think that they're actually really classy. Just a really classic thing to wear when you're traveling or at home. Um, those types of pajama sets come in maybe long sleeve, long pants, maybe short sleeve and shorts. There's like cropped ones. There's three quarter length. So depending on the climate that you're gonna be traveling to, there's different ways that you can adjust the pajama set type that makes the most sense for the climate. Perhaps you're gonna be looking more at like a thin fabric, or if you're going somewhere very cold in the winter time, maybe you want a flannel pajama set. The things to keep in mind with pajama sets is that they actually take up a lot more space than the other two options perhaps do in your luggage. So with a shirt, and like a t-shirt and sweatpants, you might be able to get away with wearing those as a travel day outfit if you needed to double up or something like that um, and just have multi-uses for your the clothes that you're bringing as pajamas. But with a pajama set, especially if it's gonna be like a flannel one or something, you're not gonna be able to use that as another type of clothing item. So just consider if you have enough space in your luggage. I typically like to bring carry-on only. And so really it's just, I, I opt, even though I love wearing pajama sets when I'm home, I opt not to bring them when I'm traveling. If you do bring them when you're traveling, please leave a comment down below and let us know kind of what your um, strategy is for that and how you prioritize space for that in your luggage. Now that I've gone through all three female pajama options and how I I look at the pros and cons as a traveler definitely if i've missed anything please add your comments and like experiences and notes down below so that way the rest of the female audience on this channel who's interested in learning about what's worked for others we can all learn from each other if you liked this video as always please press the thumbs up down below keep giving me feedback about whether or not these female travel friday videos feel helpful, feel interesting to you. I'm still experimenting a lot with this series and really appreciate all of the notes that I've gotten from the wonderful women in this community. With that, please press the red subscribe button below too if you haven't already so that way you don't miss any of the female travel tips, other travel tips, travel videos, travel vlogs on this channel to come. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers, happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.